Jennifer Hart was drunk when she drove family off California cliff in deadly crash A California mother was drunk when she drove a vehicle carrying her wife and children off a cliff in a deadly crash last month. Jennifer Hart's blood alcohol content was 0.102, according to California Patrol Capt. Bruce Carpenter. Drivers are considered impaired if they have a blood alcohol level of 0.08 or higher in California. Her wife, Sarah Hart, and two of the couple's six children had a significant amount of an ingredient found in allergy medication Benadryl, which can result in drowsiness, in their systems, according to toxicology tests. Neither Hart nor her passengers were wearing seat belts, Carpenter said. The same-sex couple and their six adopted children were all believed to be in the vehicle when it veered off course last month. Jennifer, Sarah, and three of their children were confirmed dead in the coastal cliff crash. Two kids' bodies are missing and a third body has been found but wasn't identified. The couple's former foster child, identified only as Lee, reflected on the troubling period she spent with them. One memory in particular stands out to her, her one-time guardians abandoned her at a therapy appointment, turning her over to a new family without as much as a goodbye, according to the Seattle Times. I don't believe Jen and Sarah to be evil people, and I don't want to believe that they killed their family intentionally, their former foster child told the Times. Lee, who acknowledged being a difficult child, spent her teenage years in and out of foster care. Recurring behavioral issues left her single mother overwhelmed and in the summer of 2004, Lee wound up at the Hearts Minnesota home. The women had recently graduated from Northern State University in South Dakota, where they were originally from. Lee said the first several months with the couple had been really good. She recalled camping trips and amusement park excursions with her guardians. But she soon found herself at odds with Jennifer, whom she referred to as the more moody of her two parents. She cited a trip to Lambeau Field, all three of them carrying footballs, in hopes of nabbing an autograph from running back Ammon Green. But when the football star opted to sign the team's ball, it turned into a huge fiasco, Lee recalled. Jennifer accused of her being a brat and then ignored her for days. Despite mounting tension, Lee intended to remain with the Hearts until she turned 18. The family of three even discussed the arrangement with officials around the same time, the Hearts were gearing up to adopt other children. The couple discussed the responsibilities of being a big sister with Lee, who was excited to take on the role. A week before her new siblings were expected to arrive, the Hearts dropped Lee off at a therapy appointment and never returned. Her therapist explained she would be living with a new family all of her belongings had already been removed from the Hart family home. I remember being devastated, Lee said. There have been countless abuse allegations raised against the couple, including a 2011 misdemeanor assault conviction for Sarah. Nearly four months before the fatal crash, a neighbor phoned 911 to report an episode in which one of the couple's children desperately sought help, CNN reported. The other night, a little girl jumped out of the second-story window on the roof and then down to the ground and then ran to my daughter and, this is like two in the morning, begging them to help her, he told dispatchers. She told them she was being whipped with belts and that her moms were racist and were abusing her. Neighbor Bruce DeKalb also offered a disturbing account of the Hart family, claiming 16-year-old Devante Hart, who remains missing, would turn up at their home asking for food in the weeks leading up to the crash.